Inflammatory bowel disease is a refractory disease of the gastrointestinal tract. Ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease are the two representative types of disease, and in both diseases, idiopathic inflammation and mucosal damage arise in the patient's GI tract. Right now, we have many choices of treatment to control inflammation, but on the other hand, we have no choice of treatment to repair the damaged mucosa of inflammatory bowel disease patients. Today, I would like to introduce our challenges to establish organoid-based regenerative medicine for inflammatory bowel disease patients. To repair the damaged intestinal mucosa, we need the help of intestinal stem cells. Intestinal stem cells reside in the crypt of our intestinal epithelium and act as a key cell corporation for the maintenance and repair of the intestinal mucosa. Using the organoid culture technique, we can now expand the intestinal stem cells ex vivo. Intestinal organoids are spherical monorayer of epithelial cells, composed of epithelial stem cells and the differentiated cells. To produce patient-derived clinical-grade intestinal organoids, we established our original organoid culture method using GMP-grade factors and clinically-approved collagen matrix. Under our strict cruelty control, we can now produce large number of patient-derived organoids in our cell processing facility, starting from endoscopic biopsies. We have also established a new method to deliver patient-derived organoids to the desired region of the GI tract by using gastrointestinal endoscopy. Patient-derived organoids can be safely delivered to the target ulcer region through an endoscopic spray tube and promoted to engraft there by the additional endoscopic procedures. Based on these cell processing and endoscopic techniques, we are now running a first in-human clinical trial for ulcerative colitis patients. In the study, we are performing adult stem cell autologous organoid transplantation to repair the damaged mucosa of ulcerative colitis patients. The primary endpoint of the study is safety, and we have successfully finished endoscopic organoid transplantation for two patients so far. We will evaluate and confirm the result of the study after a year follow-up of the patients. Our challenge to establish organoid medicine for inflammatory bowel disease patients has just reached the very early phase of the clinical trial. We will continue to achieve the primary endpoint of the study and plan the next phase of the clinical trial to prove the efficacy of organoid transplantation in also tuberculosis patients. Also in the future, our organoid transplantation could be used to treat the damaged mucosa of other refractory intestinal diseases such as Crohn's disease.